In the first uh, video on normal distribution, you learned about what the bell curve looks like, um, about the standard deviation, and about the percentages. So we're going to go a little further today and uh, do some actual examples. So just as a reminder here, we're going to have the middle is the mean, right? So here is the mean. And remember that you go up one standard deviation, then down one standard deviation, and that 68% would be within uh, that area. So we're actually going to go to each section. If 68% is in here, um, that's the percentage given from the first video, then that means 34% is here, and 34% is here. So that's the mean, and this is the mean plus one standard deviation, and this is the mean minus one standard deviation. Then we go a little bit further, and as you recall, that 95% of the data would be of the mean plus another standard deviation, or two altogether, and the mean minus to standard deviations. And so 95% of the data is going to be in there. And let's see if we could figure out those individual pieces. Uh, so this would be 13.5% and 13.5. If you add up all the percents we have so far, all four of those numbers, that adds up to uh, 95. All right, then we go out uh, one more standard deviation. This is the mean plus another standard deviation, or plus three standard deviations, and the mean minus three standard deviations. So remember from the first video that the 99.7% uh, uh, 99 of the data is within the three standard deviations. So that's almost everyone. Uh, so we're going to figure out those little pieces, no, 99.7, uh, minus 95, divided by 2, so that's, uh, I'm going to write it up here to make sure I have plenty of room, 2.35% here, 2.35% here. All right, and so if we add those six numbers up, then we get 99.7%, and there's still that really tiny amount that's way over here, those super outliers. 0.15% of uh, people are going to be over here, and 0.15% of people or of data is going to be over here. Okay, so um, the normal distribution was talked about in the first video with the um, more general percentages, but it's important to have these specific percentages for each area. So this is this picture that I have there right now is something that I, I might copy down and have with me uh, handy because we're going to do um, some different uh, some different problems okay so uh, let's say for example that uh, uh, 200 people were given a test right so I gave 200 people a test so we have 200 people and the mean uh, the mean test score was uh, 78, uh, and the standard deviation uh, was 3. So 78 points was the mean, and 3 points was the standard deviation, right? So what that means is that, on average, uh, people were 3 points away from 78. Okay. So all right, now, if I were to draw a uh, normal distribution with this information, so it's going to look very, very similar to what I have up there. So I have my normal curve. I, I'm going to just clean that side up a little bit. All this practice throughout life, drawing normal distributions, and I still struggle a little bit. All right. So I'm just kind of copying what I have up there. The percents are going to stay the same. Anytime you have a normal distribution, those percents 
uh, stay the same. It's one of the properties of normal distribution. So we have 34%, 34%, 13.5%, 13.5%, 13.5%, 13.5%. Point five percent and point one five percent. Okay, but what's going to change is rather than writing the words mean and then mean plus two standard deviations, mean plus one standard deviation, is I can actually write those numbers down here. So if I look for um, the mean of seventy eight, okay, so uh, that means that seventy eight goes right here. And then now I'm going to go up by 3 each time, because 3 is the standard deviation. So that's 81, 84, and 87. And then I'm going to go down okay, by 3, 75, uh, 72, and 69. Okay. So this tells me uh, things like, for example, that 68% uh, of the people got between a 75 and an 81. Uh, and then like over here, uh, only 0.15%, which is a really, really tiny percent, of people got higher than an 87. Okay. Um, it also tells me that uh, half the class did better than a 78. Okay. So you can see that we could tell uh, different things here. Okay. So now, we can answer more specific questions. Okay, so we're going to do that next. So I can ask a more specific question. Uh, for example, uh, what percent of people scored uh, higher than 81? So if I want to know what pe uh, percent of people scored higher than 81, then I look over here, and 81 is to the right, this side here. And so you're going to add up those percentages. Okay, We have 13.5, 2.35, and 0.15. So I, I colored in, I highlighted everything to the right of 81, and then I'm going to add up uh, those percentages. Okay, So uh, that would be um, 13. Oops, on thirteen point five percent plus two point three five percent plus point one five percent. All right, so all right, so then you add those up, and we have the thirteen point five plus two point three five plus 0.15, and we get 16, right? So this is 16%. So 16% of those students um, scored higher than 81. Okay. Now, if I then asked, okay, well, how many people? So how many people uh, scored higher than 81? So how is this question different than A? Think about that. In A, they're asking percent, okay? And in B, they're asking how many? And we know there was 200 people altogether, so basically what we need to find is 16% uh, of 200, which means 0.16 times 200. Okay, so we multiply uh, the 0.16 times 200, and that gives me 32. So what that means is 32 people scored higher than 81. All right, let's do one more. Okay, um, how about how many people Uh, scored between uh, 
75 and 84. All right, so between 75 and 84, okay, I want to um, color like the bottom. So between 75 and 84 is going to be this area. Okay, so there's three percentages there. I'm going to add those up. So that's going to give me, um, I'm going to add the percentages first. So 34% plus 34% plus 13 five percent right so I'm gonna add those up so let's see that would be 68 plus 13.5 so 81.5 percent and then this question asked how many instead of what percent so I now have to take that percent and convert it to another uh, the number of people so that's 81.5 percent of 200 okay which means that you're going to do 0.815 times 200. Okay, so 0.815 times 200, and I get 163. So that's 163 people that scored between 75 and 84.